Hello, family. I'd like to begin today's chapel meditation with two quotes from great men of African descent. The first quote is by the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And he says, a riot is the language of the unheard. What is it that America has failed to hear? A riot is the language of the unheard. What is it that America has failed to hear? The second quote is by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And he says, let's rush to justice and not rush to judgment. Let's rush to justice and not rush to judgment. As we begin our chapel meditation today, let us have a moment of silence to meditate on these great words from great men. And in memory of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and the countless others that not only have died as a result of police brutality, but who have suffered indignities in the death of their very souls at the hands of police officers who commit to protect and serve. Broken teeth, broken ribs, blackened eyes. They live on physically, but the pain and the wounds are deep and abiding. Let us have a moment of silence. I spent the weekend in tear-drenched sheets, weak from yet another black man dead in the streets at the hands of police. I can't begin to tell you how my soul weeps as I try to keep some semblance of sanity. The madness of it all is crippling. Racism is stifling. I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. Please, I beg you, please get your knees off of our necks. As I reflect on the daily struggle of what it means to be women and men of African descent in a nation and world hell bent on destroying us systemically or should I say systematically, we yearn to be free. We yearn to breathe free as Lady Liberty so eloquently lifts her lamp beside the golden door asking for the world's tired and poor. And that sounds good and all, but the reality is that we fall short, woefully short of equitable structures and here again, the aorta of America ruptures and we bleed internally. And we all know if it bleeds, it leads. As cities burn to the ground, protesters pound the pavement and streets. As grief pours out and shouts of no justice, no peace. My God, my God, how can this be? Then suddenly I hear... Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, Oh, Lord, Lord, have mercy.
mercy on me. And humility washes over me and I hear divinity say I never created knees as instruments of fatality. What we currently see is what happens when we K-N-E-E -E, know not empathy for everyone. You see, when Colin Kaepernick took a knee, the powers that be knew not empathy for he and his people. So much so that they counted him a liability and chose to cut their losses in obedience to their capitalistic bosses. The officer who pressed his knee into the neck of George Floyd was void of empathy for the human being he had taken into custody. Oh, but when Jesus took a knee in the Garden of Gethsemane, he knew empathy for both you and me, so much so that he hung, bled, and died, and rose so we could live free, so we could be free to live life abundantly. And because of this, we don't have to stay in this abyss of despair. We have the capacity to care and leave behind the snares that value white skin above all others. We can rid our land of macro and micro aggressions causing depression and oppression of non-white expression and succession. If God's people who are called by God's name will humble themselves and pray and seek God's face and turn from their wicked ways, Yes, turn from our wicked ways. God promised to hear from heaven, forgive our sin and heal our land. You see, police brutality is just one manifestation of the wicked seed of racism. Daily, people of color feel the pressure sequestered in a world of oppressive gestures, causing the scars in our souls to fester. Dealing with all lives matter conjectures when black lives matter must be proclaimed over stretchers. So how can you help? Take a knee and commit to knowing empathy for everyone. When Jesus took a knee to pray, he got up and sprung into action. Do the same. Do the same. Commit to speak until justice wakes. Commit to recognize and change the behaviors and patterns in your own lives that are reminiscent of a knee on someone's neck. And now I pray. May God remember forever our dearly beloved who have gone to their eternal rest. May they be one with the one who is life eternal. May the beauty of their lives shine forevermore. And may our lives always bring honor to their memory. Amen. Amen and amen.